It's Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk, hey! Pillows and playing video games! Welcome back to Pillow Talk's Drunk Dating. We are taking notes on a phone. Senpai's full attention is now on his phone, but my notes are severely lacking. I see some of the same people from my last class looking at me. Embarrassed, I can't help but try and huddle away from their eyes, knowing full well I won't be able to escape until class is over. Thankfully, it's not long before the lesson ends and I can finally rest my uneasy soul. Just as soon as I step outside, Sunpei comes around in front of me and blocks my way dramatically. Well, let's go get dinner. We already missed our chance at lunch, so we have to get something nice. All right, what do you want? A big hot pot. Senpei, aren't you forgetting that we have club practice tonight? Even when we have practice, we still have to eat. We're in the dance club, no matter how you look at it. It's not a great idea to dance on a full stomach. You can't look skinny as shit. And secondly, we want to decide to eat. Sorry, Senpai, there's no way I'm dancing after eating that much food. Oh, it's such a great chance to dine with you, Lau. It's alright, we'll have lots of chances. There's no need to hurry. I just thought... Alright, you better keep your word. Mm-hmm, I will. So for now, how about we just head off to the cafeteria? Yeah. You guys hear that creak? It's this, this chair. I'm just rocking in. I'm rocking back and forth, rocking back and forth, rocking, rocking, rocking back and forth. We move to the cafeteria and find a table for four. It's kind of a waste, even though technically there's four of us. To securing a table, the senpai and me go to the stalls, I guess. Leopard's never been to a cafeteria, so he comes too. Tiger, on the other hand, follows Leopard, probably just wanted to keep an eye on him. Our college has a super huge cafeteria. It looks very fancy and nice. They have everything. Bentos, noodles, meat, hamburgers, desserts. There's even a drink bar. Are you fucking serious? This is the best college ever. I would go back to school specifically for this. Since we don't have much time, I go for something simple. A chicken thigh rice. Senpai ends up getting himself some pork rib noodles and, well, an extra large soft drink. Senpei, are you really going to drink that much before practice? Uh, I thought it was only recitation today, right? Right, we're supposed to have a full club practice today. There's only a recitation for recital or whatever for the show yesterday, but uh, it should be over in a couple of minutes. But you never know, so I'm not about to stuff myself. I try to argue further with Senpei, Tiger comes back from the stalls. Wow, what is that? A hamburger, it's just a hamburger. I thought it was chicken type, whatever. You know, like meat, salad, and sauce between two sesame seed buns. There should be a picture over there on the menu. It does seem that they have many meats available. Oh yeah, mostly pork or beef or chicken though. Ah, yo, chicken patty! What? You don't even know what a hamburger is? What kind? What, what rock do you live under? My worshippers don't use them as sacrifice. Traditionally speaking, he's right to not have seen one. So I guess with your family, that means you won't have had any before coming here too often. No, uh, hey, it's not like I. Hey, it's not like I live under a rock too. I love hamburgers. I even have egg burgers for breakfast, like all the freaking time. Egg burger. So what's this? So, so that's the same thing. Well, kinda. It's meat between two buns, but with a fried egg. That doesn't sound as nice as the menu pictures make it out to be. Poof. What are you laughing at? So you've been well acquainted with all this for a long time, then, kitten? A long time ago? You mean before I possess this body? Well, I'm not sure. I have all his, all his memories after all, and I can't tell if those are his or mine. So maybe I don't even know before. I see. Reese. 
Reese. Puppy. Thank you. So, why do you ask? Nothing. Simple curiosity. The old man... The old man definitely wants hamburger. He wants meat. He wants that D. Wait, really? Uh, uh, see his eyes are going all bleh, and then he looks kind of flustered. Look at him. Uh, so, how, how about I get one for you? No, it's fine. But wow, can you eat any more? Uh, me? Nah, I'm not hungry. Just going to throw all that away? What a waste. I thought he wanted to eat a burger though. It's not like I need to eat anything. Wow. Wow. And you call yourself a Jatong? Your guardian tiger here is a spirit. He doesn't literally eat things. What? No, wait. So what do you mean? But he doesn't eat things. Dramatic close up in pan. Uh, how should I explain? So when a god eats something, just eat the chi within. They don't actually eat any of the food itself. Chi. Chi. Lit. <laughs> Breath, air, or gas represents material energy in traditional Chinese culture. Simply speaking, uh, forming a part of every living being. So like the force! Basically, humans won't see a difference. So it's... So it's more like an offering? Yeah, so when you buy a hamburger for the old man over here, he gets to enjoy the taste, but you have to finish it anyway. Otherwise, you just have to throw it away. Okay, so this chi you mentioned, is that something gods need? Yeah. Yeah, we need it. But gods won't run short on chi, as long as people worship them. You're basically the priest for the old man, so he won't be hungry if you're here. I'm not that lucky since my Fadong doesn't have any worshippers these days. Well, God can maintain their power as long as a priest is present. It's better to have some offerings. This is a really weird dating sim. Offerings are the best way to obtain chi and attain people's beliefs, after all. Sign the priest? You put my statue on your shelf, didn't you? You are also my worshipper, so your room could be considered my temple, and therefore you are my priest. What a cruddy temple. So all this time I've been serving my guardian tiger, but by that logic I've done embarrassing things in my temple. Is that even okay? That, and I've never worshipped tiger statue properly, not to mention sacrifices like killing bitches. I don't really think the family traditions, but now I feel like I've treated him unfairly because I ignored him. Alright, I'm not really hungry, I just wanted to try. I mean, offered him a sacrifice before. I can't just say no to the first time he's ever actually asked for something. So I'll just go get one. It's fine, though. There's no need to waste it. That's right, you can get one tomorrow for dinner now that you've seen him. Now that you can see him. You can just buy him whatever he wants anyway. However, you know God will punish you if you waste food. There's too many gods going around. Yeah, okay. I'm really tired. I'll buy my guardian tiger whatever he wants. He's the guardian tiger of my family. It's the least I can do for him. I've known him for so long. Maybe I'll probably see as well. I kind of forgot him. If I'm staring at a drink bar. Uh, never mind. I think he's good. Return to my dinner. I finish off my chicken thigh rice. I thought I had a fucking hamburger. Now I'll have to club with senpai. Z, Z, Z. Well, look at there's people. The venue for dance club is a place we call the mirror wall. It's basically an open veranda. Veranda. Room with the back wall covered in mirrors. I can eat fucking dance studio. Find a corner to drop off our things while the other club members stand around and talk to each other. Tiger leans against the pillar, watching us from the other side of the crowd. Leopard seems enamored with the mirror wall itself. I don't think he's ever seen such a big mirror before. He must be pretty happy to watch us practicing after the show last night. Usually I would hang around with the other freshmen, but I just decided to keep an eye on Senpei. Everyone around us is in high spirits after last night's show. 
Then our club leader arrives to give us a rousing speech about the show. The whole club echoes their excitement, and I feel it too. I share this honor with my fellow club members. Our success and our failures are all felt as one. Just how we were. What a good club. I'll miss it. Senpai, are you alright? You don't seem yourself. Did you get a cold? <laughs> no. Why, why can't I be sentimental sometimes? I didn't mean it like that, but what's wrong? Has something happened to you? Well, I was talking to the Guardian Tiger because, you know, to leave school if you decide to go to my owl with me. I really have to leave anyway, even if you don't take my offer. That's right. You have to go back anyway. Yeah, though after being in this body for so long, I started thinking that being a human isn't that bad. It's such a lovely club, it's pretty rare, right? And after all, based on my mem my memories, well, it's not a good topic. What kind of topic? It's nothing, so talking about coming to my alley, what do you think about it at that moment? Oh, well, it's really not that easy. All three of you want my help. You can help all of us, then. No way! I don't want to make it that easy on myself, that's too much stress. But we'll figure out what Lao wants to do next time on Pillow Talk.